I just got done with my grad shoot. It went so well. The area is so cute, like especially by the water, and I was just so happy to be there for sunrise. It just put me in the best mood ever. So I'm gonna go to Starbucks um, and upload the pictures to Google Drive so that she can have them ASAP because she's actually graduating today. Um, and then I'm gonna head to a very exciting appointment that you guys probably know from the title. So let's do this. closet in my damn vlogs. I don't know, but I just found a free people dress. This is like super cute. I don't know if it's like too big on me, but I really like it. So I got all my errands done. Like you guys know, whenever I come to Waterford, I like to do a lot of errands um, at a time just because everything's here. Um, like Forever 21, I just made a return to there because I bought these pants and I thought I was going to wear them like last Sunday fun day, but I didn't end up wearing them. So I was just like, you know what? I don't think I'll ever really wear these. I feel like it was just like an impulse buy because I was with my friend who was also buying an outfit for Sunday fun day. I was like, damn, like I need to get something. I can't even remember. Oh, I think I found something in my closet. <laughs> what are the odds? Um, but yeah, so I just returned that and then I went to drop off some clothes to Plato's Closet and I think I got like $35, um, but then you saw that free people dress that I got and that was 18 so I, so I think I got back like $17 in cash. That free people dress reminds me of Sarah Bell, she's a blogger slash vlogger or whatever, um, and she used to work at Free People, I think. And I swear I've seen this dress on her just because it looks so like Nashville-y and like boho. Um, I just don't really get free people sizing. Like it was a large and I'm usually like a large just because like my chest and I'm not like super skinny. Um, but it was like super baggy, but I feel like free people clothes are super baggy. So I'm not, I can't tell if that's the style or if like it's just too big. I am going to Sunday Fun Day again this Sunday because um, on Monday we have it off for MLK Day. And I also just like wanted to get all the seniors together because usually in my sorority we have like a senior week at the end of the semester like when we're graduating but I just thought that was like kind of sad like you always get so close at the end of the semester and then you literally have to like leave right after you got close so I really want to make it a point to like hang out more with like my PC and like the seniors just so that at the end of the semester we won't sit there like wishing we had would have done more with each other so we got our brunch reservations and i just can't wait to get dressed up and stuff like that so right now it's 10 43 my appointment is at 11 10 and i'm finally getting my invisalign or like clear trays they're not the invisalign brand like i explained in my vlog in december basically what had happened was i was supposed to get it in december but i asked for the attachments on the back because I had Invisalign my senior year of high school and the attachments were on the front and they just like did not look super great, you know, and I didn't know that was a option to get them on the back um, until my friend told me and that's what made me interested in getting them again. I was like, oh, well, if it's not going to be like that noticeable, like might as well, you know, because my teeth have gotten really bad after getting my wisdom teeth in. Um, and they kind of like messed up my whole straight teeth thing. So now they're all crowded again. I'm not exactly sure what exact brand they are, but I will let you guys know. I'll probably like show you guys everything I got on my toolkit today. I feel like last time I was going to get them, I was so excited. And then like, obviously they weren't right. So I didn't get them at that point. So now I feel very just like not excited because I feel like something bad's gonna happen. It's like I don't want to get my hopes up for them because, I don't know, I just feel like they're going to mess up something and I can't get them today, but hopefully I will get them today. Positive vibes. I just want to start so I can end. I also kind of forgot that they hurt a lot. <laughs> they're like going to make my teeth so sore. I'm going to be like barely able to talk, which is not good because I was definitely planning on vlogging this whole weekend, but we will see how I feel. Hopefully I can like just pop a bunch of like Advil and feel better.
but we'll see. After I get out of my retainer Invisalign appointment, I don't even know what to call it because like I feel like Invisalign is just like the name of the clear retainers. To me, it's like Band-Aid is like the brand Band-Aid, but it's like an actual Band-Aid. Does that make sense? So I'm just going to probably call it Invisalign, but know that it's off-brand. <laughs> I'm just going the cheaper route. Um, but later on, I'm going to go to Meal Plan after I get my Invisalign. Um, and then at 3 or 3.30 or something like that, I have a... Oh yeah, I didn't tell you guys. So I got a new job. Um, I am... I don't even know what my title is just yet because they like basically made the position for me. Um, so I'm working with Zup, which used to be Party Tutor. Um, and I've honestly been using this app since literally freshman year. I remember like checking Party Tutor for like the cover of the night and like what time this thing starts at this bar and just like all that and now it's grown into this great like discount app kind of thing if you guys remember i vlogged um when me and my friends did the no spend challenge for a whole week and we use party tutor for like a lot of deals um they give away a lot of free stuff basically it is five dollars a month and you get so many good discounts like bogo at this restaurant or even like free ice cream this day from 2 to 6 or free acai bowl. Like they always have like free stuff every week pretty much. So I'm really excited to be helping them out. I'm going to be doing their social media, their graphics, their motion graphics, videos, photography, all that stuff. Um, so I'm really excited because content creation is like kind of what I am hoping to do after graduation. Um, so this will kind of give me a little taste of what I'm going to get into. If you guys watch my vlogs, you know that I work with UCF too, um, and I'm keeping that job and adding this job, so I will be, you know, quite exhausted, but I feel like it's going to be so worth it. I thought it would be really stupid to pass up this offer with Zup, um, because it's just what I want to do, and even UCF, like what I'm doing with UCF, it's what I want to do. So I feel like I couldn't turn anything down, and I couldn't quit anything just because I really like it all. And I feel like the busier I am, the more productive I am anyways. I'm just going to have to get up a lot earlier. And update from last week because on the first day of school I was literally dying because I stayed up until like 2 every day for winter break. And then got up at like maybe 11, 12 every day winter break. And for my internship I have to get up at like 7 and get there by 8. So that was a bit of a challenge, but I think I'm finally back onto my routine. Today I woke up at 6 and it honestly wasn't that hard to do, so I'm feeling that I'm getting used to it. So I'm going to go ahead and drive on over to the orthodontics office. As you can see, I got my Invisalign, or, okay, I know what it is now. It is clear correct. If that's right I don't know I'm gonna check later and I'm gonna do like a little unboxing of everything they gave me um but I'm kind of excited like I wasn't excited like I explained because I just thought that something was bad was gonna happen um but I got them and great thing is that they don't hurt as much as I thought they would so that's really nice because I thought I was gonna be in so much pain like these next like couple of days as you can see I'm probably talking really weird I just need to get used to them. I remember talking weird with like Invisalign too. It's the same thing. So I'm just going to have to get used to it like over a couple of days. I hope you guys enjoyed those videos of me with that like mouth widener or whatever the heck it was. I thought that was so funny. I sent them to Ryan and he was like, why do your teeth look good? And I was like, I mean, my teeth aren't horrible. It's just I wanted to get it fixed a little bit, you know, just a little bit. I also talked about it in my other vlog, um, but my bottom teeth crowded really bad after my wisdom teeth came in. And just like my, um, these two ones, just like they're up a little bit and they're back. And I just want to fix all that. So, like I explained before, I got my attachments on the back. And they put them on today. And they are so incredibly rough. Like when I take these out, it's like really weird feeling. Like I don't like the feeling. So that's going to be a big motivation to always have my retainers on. Um, but yeah, that's all I have to say about them for now. My friend is about to meet me for a meal plan, so I'm kind of scared to take them out because I feel like my teeth are going to hurt after I take them out, if that makes sense. Like, feel sore, um, but girls got to do what you got to do, you know? I got to eat, so. So I just ate and I put my 
retainers back in and now they're starting to hurt like at first for some reason they didn't hurt that much but now they kind of are but I'm gonna go through what I got um, I'm gonna go to a meeting from like 3 to 5 and I feel like by that time the lighting's not gonna be this good so might as well do it now I'm like currently in like our TV room of my sorority house so if people walk in then you'll know why so first up I got more retainers they give you retainers for like two months and you wear each retainer for um two weeks um then they gave me this little case and it is clear correct that is the brand it comes with this chewy thing to like chew down on when you like need to push it into each other like push it up like you're not supposed to like really grind on your teeth to do that you have to chew on this but i've been grinding on my teeth i'm gonna be real with you guys this tool kind of like helps to take them out um, if you can't get it with your like nails, but I can, so I think I'm fine. Then they actually gave me a toothbrush. I already have an electrical toothbrush, but this looks like way more intense. I think mine is, shit, I don't even know what mine is, but it's definitely like not Oral B. Um, but yeah, they gave me a toothbrush. Then they gave me like more heads. They gave me toothpaste, which this is not the toothpaste I use, and I don't really know if I like this one, so I don't know. When I run out, I'll probably just use that. They gave me some mouthwash, which is Crest. I do like Crest. Um, and then they gave me whitening stuff. So apparently, um, you have unlimited like whitening, if I am correct. But she said that like at first she didn't give me the whitening, like I had to ask for it because. Um, like they usually do at the end because of your attachments but my attachments are on the back so like it doesn't really make a difference no one's gonna see like the whitening of the back of my teeth so i got some whitening here it comes with like the instructions and this little thing um and you use the trays for your like whitening trays i guess that's all i got exciting little haul for today so like i said i used to have invisalign and now i have clear correct um if you guys have any questions about like the process or whatever let me know down below like i can totally answer your questions i'm not a pro but i can help or try to help hey guys happy january 21st as you can see my lisp is slowly starting to go away um i'm excited for the day that i wake up and i can talk like super normal but Right now, I'm actually going to head back to the orthodontics office. So, it's currently Monday, and I got them on on Thursday. I think it was on Friday that I noticed that one of my attachments in the back was, like, not in on my teeth. Like, I think I ate it in my food, which sounds really gross, but I don't remember, like, taking it out and seeing, like, that it came off, you know? So, I must have ate it. <laughs> um, but I do remember it breaking the first day, and then I saw, like, that piece but the whole rest of it came off so I called them I think last yesterday um and then left a voicemail and stuff they called me this morning and said come in at 10 so I'm gonna go there and get it fixed up I did want to give you guys a little bit of an update though because at first when I got them on I said it didn't hurt it like there was no pain involved like anything like that yeah um scratch that this has honestly been really really miserable for me because like the teeth got more sore over time um and I guess I I don't know why I didn't think that like for some reason I just thought it would feel really tight like and hurt right then and there when you put your trays on but I guess it didn't so over time it definitely hurt way way more like it was just miserable I remember one night I literally fell asleep or went to sleep at nine just because I couldn't like I couldn't stay up with the pain I have been taking like ibuprofen I don't know what is better for like teeth pain or anything but I just had ibuprofen so I took it and it's like not really helping so I honestly want to go to the store and get like Advil like the strongest kind my list is still here and not as bad as it was but it's still pretty like annoying you know hopefully we can get these attachments to stay on because I don't really want to keep coming back to the office Thank God the office is like near Waterford so it's not that far away but I'm hoping that like after they do this attachment then like nothing will fall off because I just like don't want to come back and forth to this office just because like they're falling off you know. But that's pretty much all I have to update you guys on. Like I said before if you have any questions about this whole experience and process let me know in the comments down below and I'll try to answer you guys. I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye!